Hey, it's Uvalde Radio. It's Robert Miguel. We are at Uvalde Memorial Hospital in the office of Glennis, the OB manager. Manager. All right. So let's welcome Sammy's over there, too. Hey, Sammy. <laughs> Hi, guys. So, so Glennis, uh, tell me all about what is your role here at Uvalde Memorial Hospital? Okay. My role is um, managing the department, managing the um, nursing staff and um, any educational services that we can provide to the community and the people we serve. No, no, I know the answer to this, and most people do, but describe to me what OB means for OB, those who just aren't okay. clear on that. OB is anyone that is coming in to have a baby. Okay, so luckily not me, although <laughs> looks can be deceiving. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, so, so of course, if you're going to have a baby, maybe planning to have a baby, or just recently had a baby, you, you might be dealing with, with those people right there. So, from what I understand, and now, first of all, let's go to the background here. Uh, how long have you been with Uvalde Memorial Hospital? I have been here for, it will be 19 years, wow. actually. Yes, in September. That's amazing. Mm-hmm. So, next year, 20, you're going to have a big party, right? Yes. That's going to be great. All yes. right, so, and what has your experience been like with the hospital here? I absolutely love this Obviously, facility. Yeah. I've been here for this long. I absolutely love it. We have excellent uh, physicians to work with, and we have a wonderful nursing staff. Well, that's fantastic. Now, I know there's a lot of excitement about um, you guys are going to have a new campus you know, here pretty soon. Yes. What's your take on that, having, having cannot, been here for a long time? I cannot wait. I cannot wait. Um, our rooms here, our postpartum rooms, are just mm-hmm. a little bit small. I can't wait for our patients to be able to have a wonderful labor and delivery suite, uh-huh. and then to be able to move over into a wonderful postpartum suite now, to recover in. Now, were you in on the on the talks? What, did they come to you and say, hey, you know what, what, what would be good? What would work for you? What's ideal? Or do they just do outside research? Or do they talk to you guys a little no, bit? No, they talk to us. Uh-huh. They take our input, absolutely. Um, Dr. White, um, which is the medical director, had a lot of input there, and... Uh, I think he did everything to make it wonderful for our patients. Well, we're looking forward to that. And it's mm-hmm. great that, that you have something to look forward to as well, yes. growing into a, a new you know system here. All right, well, let's talk about this now. I know um, recently you guys just did um, your first in your birth prep series, which was on the 20th. You did childbirth, and then you've got a couple more coming up, uh, which are breastfeeding and then newborn postpartum care. Right. Uh, so we'll talk about those specific dates. But let's uh, for those who did not or, or did not hear about it or weren't a part of it, give us a little... Um, I guess, a review on what happened in your January 20th childbirth uh, class. Okay. So our childbirth educator, I'm sorry, educator is Sky Dela Cruz. Okay. She is absolutely wonderful for anyone that has ever come in contact with her. Um, Very personable, very down to earth, very lovely. Our patients constantly tell us how wonderful she is. She's the one that is recognized over and over and over. Wow, okay, okay? all right. For her interaction with patients. Mm -hmm. Um, So she's the one that is actually doing these classes. Okay. So a wonderful instructor there. So um, this last class was just, we just focused on the childbirth process itself, just the labor portion of it. Ah, okay. Um, Just to give moms and dads Mm -hmm. an opportunity just to have some information and knowledge about what to expect when they come in in labor or what to expect just towards the end of the pregnancy, you know, reasons that they should come to the hospital, reasons that they can wait a little while, just to give them information and the tools they need to make good decisions. Interesting. I'm sure there's a lot of misconceptions about having, you know, about childbirth as far as like that moment. Because we've all seen episodes of, on our favorite sitcoms and, and movies, and I'm sure they don't always get it right, right? So I'm sure there's never. stuff to clarify, right? They never get it so right. So what, what's, yeah. what's a common misconception you want okay, to give us? Okay, a common misconception <laughs> is my water breaks and I'm going to have to speed to the hospital uh-huh. because I'm going to have my baby. That is not, we wish it would, could be that easy, right, you know, right. but that is not the way it works. That is just drama for, for TV yeah, and totally. movies. Yes. <laughs> right on. Yes. Okay. Well, then you'll, you'll learn all about those kind of things. Basically, yes. what happens when you're going, you know, into birth. And, and, and that's, I think, very valuable. I mean, I know, I know the women do all the real work, but I know as, as a father and as, you know, um, a husband, it's scary for us in a sense that we have no control over anything. Exactly. So that so I know my anxiety level was through the roof. Yes. And there's so many, and you, you don't realize it till you get there Most how much dads. you really don't know. Right. <laughs> you know Most so. dads are in that position. Uh-huh. You know, they want to be very supportive. Yeah. Um, so I think having the knowledge and tools to help them be more supportive and and aware of what's going to happen. 
makes it a much better experience. So this class is good for for the m- mom and dad, too, we like couples. Couples. Very good. All yes. right. Well, nice. So that was January twentieth, and then you've got another one coming up um, on breastfeeding, yes. February seventeenth. I'm thinking Dad might not sit through that one, but is is Dad welcome? Actually, to... I'm going to tell you, Dad <laughs> is very welcome. All right, all right. Because good you know the number one reason that um, moms stop breastfeeding uh-huh. is lack of support. Okay. From significant other. Really? Yes. Okay. If Dad is on board with breastfeeding, totally comfortable, knowing that Mom is totally capable of supporting that baby baby's nutritional needs Mm -hmm. absolutely that will encourage mom to keep breastfeeding man i I never had any control of the matter so there you go uh guys come on it's the right thing to do all right so (laughs) and i just want to put it out there as well (laughs) if it's a relationship and you you're not you don't have a significant other your support person your mom any anybody can attend that meeting with Mm -hmm. you whoever is going to be your coach are going to be there with you in the delivery room your main support person. So uh, as far as the breastfeeding class, uh, what what are the bullet points as far as what they're going to learn? Okay, the bullet points, we're going to teach them the, the reason, you know, the number one reason for breastfeeding. It is the best nutritional value you can give to your child. That's, mm-hmm. that's the best thing. Um, we're going to just teach them the um, anatomy of, of the breast. Mm-hmm. We're going to teach them um, techniques. We're going to teach them complications or not necessarily complications but obstacles that are going to arise that are going to make them think okay maybe this is not for me Mm -hmm. and we're going to give them help and encourage them to get beyond that okay to keep going you know you're gonna you're gonna hit some some rough spots during breastfeeding you're going to the first few days Mm -hmm. first couple of weeks even but we want to be able again to give them the education and tools that they need to be able to get beyond those obstacles that is totally possible any any of the information about maybe products or i mean because i think that was one of the hardest things for me as you know when i was a younger uh parent with with my wife was Picking what this to get. What you're, you hear a bunch of different stories from different people, okay. but you don't always have a doctor or nurse around to tell you. Right, right. We will absolutely give them uh, advice on, I'm going to tell you, the biggest complaint, sore nipples. Okay, all right. Okay. Like what, how, how to handle complaint. that, how to work and with that. And then all we're right. going, that is our biggest complaint, and sometimes that is a breastfeeding stopper right there. Wow, okay. Yes. So we'll give them... Um, information on the best possible way to take care of that very nice all right all right yeah that's good stuff all right so uh that's going to be anything else on breastfeeding february 17th that's going to be what 6 p.m 6 p.m and it says home green conference room that's here at the hospital right yes and then you've got another one coming up march 2nd this is the newborn postpartum care um which uh, again couples are uh, invited to come out and what what's that one going to cover and that one will cover just care what to expect after delivery for mama uh, the normal, what, what she's going to expect with her body. And then as well with baby, just care of baby after um, diaper change, safe sleep, um, feeding baby, how many wet, dirty diapers to to uh, expect in a 24-hour period, just basic care of baby. And, you know, when patients come in and have their babies, they have so much going on at that time, you know. There's waiting on the baby they're dealing with the pain of labor dads are dealing with watching and and trying to be supportive there's only so much information you can absorb at that time Mm -hmm. so in these little classes that we can do you know um a couple of hours we can actually have them in a nice comfortable relaxed environment where they can actually absorb that information and give them the opportunity to ask questions that you know someone in particular might be be wondering not everybody but it might be important to somebody you know Mm -hmm. just information you are so right i think that once you have a baby Mm -hmm. your world is it's a whirlwind it's just everything is going on and i think most of us just tend to kind of act on instinct Mm -hmm. you know you you might think after it's settled down and the kids are grown hey maybe i should have got more information but you find yourself just kind of going with it Mm -hmm. you know and relying on mom and who knows what kind of information is mom got you barely made it out alive um but Mm -hmm. but uh, but yeah that's great that's a great thought Mm -hmm. because yeah be prepared you know and and uh, get a couple hours of great information before the fact and then you've already got that base to then to you get have on. that you're yeah. not depending on getting that or trying to get it you know you have a 24 hour period here mm-hmm. so yeah and well. you're exhausted and 
Now, 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 as far as those kind of questions here in in the uh, the OB department, um, what what are some of the one of the most common questions you get? I'm sure you guys get phone calls from your from your uh, your patients randomly or, or questions. What are some of the some of the most popular questions you guys find that you're okay. answering? I'm telling you, the most popular question okay. is breastfeeding. Okay, that is how how do I know my baby's getting enough? Oh, ah, okay. And am I actually going to be able to? feed my baby enough you know so my baby gains weight my baby's healthy so that's the that's the biggest question um i think the second biggest question um is still related to baby how many wet dirty diapers am i expecting to see Mm, okay yeah. I mean, this is all good information. So, if you want to, if you're, in the, I want to say, in the market <laughs> to have a baby, mm-hmm. <laughs> if you're looking at, you know, start your family. Um, this is great information. Again, um, February seventeenth, breastfeeding. March second, newborn and pro, uh, postpartum. Six p.m. in the whole green home green conference room here at the Valley Memorial Hospital. Any other information you want to get for anybody out there I, looking to start a family? Okay, so the class itself, the childbirth class, is every is the uh, second. Saturday of every month. Okay. That is like a five or six hour long class. That will encompass everything. That will um, we'll we'll discuss breastfeeding. We'll discuss the labor process, and we'll discuss childcare and any questions that that group of people may have. Okay. That class is Saturday morning, nine till two. So it takes up a good portion of your Saturday. Mm-hmm. Uh, these little little prep series is really just to give shorter periods um, of information to people like that's more more specific right yeah it focuses on one topic only and kind Mm -hmm. of drills down on that topic to give them all the information they that we can possibly give them at that time on that specific topic right on and um I just wanted to say as well, anyone that, you know, attends these three classes or the little series, if they wanted to come back and repeat it, that is absolutely okay as well. It's free to the public. It's to get information out there and prepare our patients. So now, now from what I understand, you've got this series right now, uh, started off January 20th, mm-hmm. and then you got the uh, February 17th and March 2nd, mm-hmm. and I'm sure you guys are going to continue to do these you know, throughout the, the throughout the year. Mm-hmm. So just kind of uh, check the website, I guess, for information on that, yes. mm-hmm. uh, or the Facebook page as well. Mm-hmm. Just find you at Valley Memorial Hospital, or call Sammy. <laughs> Sammy's always there to, to give you good information. Um, anything else we need to talk about here um, with, with what you guys got going on with um, with childbirth and the, the prep series that we, that we missed that we didn't get into? No, I think that covers everything. I think you did pretty good, yeah. yeah. I think so. All right. Well, again, we're here with Glennis, the OB manager uh, here at Valley Memorial Hospital. And congratulations on 19 years mm-hmm. of uh, helping out uh, moms, dads, and, and kiddos entering the world here in Valley, Texas. What a cool job that must be for you. It's a wonderful To, to see them enter, you know, right here into town, you know, and, and it's, it's, it's a wonderful thing. So thank you so much for what you guys do. Thank you, Sammy, for having us here today. And uh, that's going to be it here from, uh, from Valley Memorial Hospital on Valley Radio.